Hi, it's Matt from Tubby Tarot. Today we're going to be doing the much requested tour number two of my reading room. Come on in. Come and have a look. I'm going to start with a couple of things that you guys are actually um, familiar with. I have my, I have my deity, my, um, my Shiva deity right here with my two candles. Um, this is something that a lot of people have requested seeing. Everybody sees him in the background. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Where did you get him? Um, Durban has a very large Indian community and this sort of thing is actually freely available. Um, expensive, not free, expensive, but you can kind of get them all over the show in prayer shops and that. So I still have him there. Then what I've done is I've kind of cleaned the room up. I've, I've sorted out cards that I use and cards that I don't use, decks that I'm, I'm busy using, decks that I don't use. And I've kind of sorted things out because I've actually got a new bookcase, as you can see here. Um, I'm going to take you through the bookcase in just a minute. That the new bookcase takes up quite a bit of space. So I've had to shift things around. And the first thing I want to show you is up here, I'm actually utilizing this cupboard space, which I didn't before. And these are basically um, all the cards that I don't really use, all right, or I use very seldom. And then I've got a few books, my Ian Foster collection. These are kind of books that don't really fit into um, any collection or any sort of um, collection of mine, okay? So we've just popped them in here, and as you can see, there's a lot of space for me to continually collect stuff. All right. Um, I've also used this little section here in this cupboard. But that's also just to, it's to put a few things in, um, maybe go around there, you can see, there we go. It's kind of like just a few odds and ends, my playing cards, um, my book of shadows stays in there. It's just a lot, a lot neater than what it was. Okay, what I've done is, I don't know if this was up the last time, but I've actually, I've actually got a little um, kind of deity uh, collection going here. You've got all my little Ganeshas and... Um, I've even got, I've got a, a little angel and a um, uh, Christ face. Um, and of course, my little see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil Buddhas. My more little Ganeshas, um, my, all my little Indian deities and um, my Buddha deities. And all these things, some of, the, some of them I picked up when I was in Bali. But generally, you can, again, you can get these in Durban quite easily. You know, my Shivalingam, which is here. It's this funny looking thing there. So I've just got three little pigeon holes to fill. There's Kali. Oh, look, here's Kali. I forgot about Kali. There's Kali. You can see Kali there. Um, so what I'm doing is I am collecting bits and pieces, but they all have to be small. In the old days, we used to call this a printer's tray. Okay. Then, um, moving on, I've put this bookshelf in because I've started collecting books again. All my books are on um, digital. They, they, I digitized all my books, and I just thought, you know what, there are certain books that I really, really want, such as the entire Agatha Christie collection, and so I've started collecting the books in hardcover form, and as you know, I'm very into sort of classic books, and I'm into uh, Victorian stuff, anybody who watches my Thursday book chat, so I've kind of got the Agatha Christie's, and then I've got a whole lot of books here, which are all classics, all these books, all of this. All of that was written in the 1800s, so all these books are Victorian. Okay, I've got everything from Dracula to Sweeney Todd, um, right through to a lot of Jules Verne and um, and H.G. Wells, and then of course, again from my overseas trips, a uh, trip, I got I put little things. I like to put little things, you know, um, on the shelves. It doesn't really uh, bug me that they're sitting in front of the books. It's actually just kind of cute. Uh, my little skull this is a, the monkey skull from bali beautifully i'll show you the, the top it's so beautifully um actually etched that the bone has been etched into um and of course this skull here um which i bought at one of our funny little shops here in, in durban uh, quite a quite a cool quite a cool um skull and look you can actually take the cork out and put i don't know wine or blood or whatever you're <laughs> whatever your taste might call for inside that. So this is also, as I said, this has taken up quite a bit of room. So I've had to shift um, my, play, my, my tarot cards and my oracle cards and my Lenormand cards to a different part of the, of the room. What I've done here is I've, I've used the second printer's tray to house my very small 
um, yet very special uh, crystal collection. And it's really nice having it up on the wall because I can see exactly which crystals I've got. If I want to take a crystal out and just focus on it, I can do that because I now know that what I've got. They're not sort of sitting in a drawer or lying around on the table. One glance, I know exactly what's up there and I can then use it if I want to use it. I'm sure if you watched my previous video, you will recognize the gem table. Okay, you will also notice that Jack has decided to sleep underneath the gem table. This is his spot. This is Jack Russell's spot when I'm in the room. Um, and you can see the gem table is quite cool. It's got a, um, a cutout section in the middle where I have laid all of my sort of semi-precious little pretty colored stones into. And then I've got just one or two little boxes. You'll recognize this if you've, if you've seen anything. This is my haunted house tarot. Um, this is the um, the Apocalypsis, and then of course my Pride and Joy, which is my aged Rider Waite Smith. Okay, we'll be showing you how to do that in in a, in a while. Obviously, I have my bell, cleansing the, the the atmosphere, and little bits and pieces. I keep my uh, we keep the the incense in there, um, and of course I have my Buddha, which is which he's he's pretty cool in the corner there. Okay, we're going to move on to what I think you're all waiting to see, and that is, I can stand out of the way, that is the card collection, okay? What I've done is I've specifically put out, pulled out the cards that I use and the cards that I'm really proud of and the cards that I, I think are like the best from my collection, and you can see that I've got them all packed nicely, so... Um, those of my, um, the people who've subscribed to my channel and who are OCD or who are very happy about me doing the whole from tallest to smallest, here's a little something just to get you past that midweek something. Okay, so we've got all the really cool stuff all set out, all laid out. I can see all the cards I've got. I can see all the, all the things. And then at the very bottom shelf, I actually have all my esoteric books. Okay, not a big collection, as I've said before. I've only used, I've only kept the ones that I really, really like and really can use over and over again. So they go down the bottom. As you can see, I have now got a nice new chair. It's a lovely upholstered, um, comfortable office chair on wheels, which I can sit in when I'm doing my readings. A lot more comfortable for me. And of course, it's nice to keep the desk really, really clear with nothing, nothing on it because it stops any residual energy from kind of settling here. I still have great-grandmother's beautiful chair. Um, this is actually the, probably the most valuable thing in my entire house. <laughs> and it is, of course, as you, I'm sure some of you know, the chair that my great-grandmother used to sit in. It's a beautiful, comfortable chair. It's a happy chair. Um, it's a very uh, positively energized chair. And this is what my clients sit in. Now, you would probably think that, oh, Matthew, you should sit in that. But no, it's so comfortable and it's so energized with positivity that this is where my clients actually sit, okay, in this chair. The only thing we, that I've done, the only thing we've done is we've reupholstered this. We've just put, put a new kind of vinyl thingy on. But all of this is, obviously hasn't been sanded. I've done nothing with it. Just the vinyl um, seat cover. You can see that. Okay, and then lastly, of course, I have my Ganesha collection, which I did a little video on a little while ago. And you can see that... This is kind of my odds and ends um, shelf, okay? Uh, you've, I've got, don't worry about the big penis in the background, that's from Bali and it actually means good luck. And I like it because it's got legs, okay? Um, they are all my little things that don't really fit in anywhere. So I've got my Ganesha statues, I've got my crystal ball. It's not really crystal, it's glass, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I've got my little funny little uh, Buddha head. Um, this is just a really pretty little uh, faux wreath, a little print of uh, the little boy in blue. And then down the bottom, I've got my, um, what do you call this thing? Flow, incense flowing thing, that flowy thing. <laughs> you all know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's a backflow um, incense burner, okay, with some incense in there, my little elephant. And all my little bits and pieces that really don't fit in anywhere, they go there. And then, of course, I've, I've put the big, uh, the big Buddha on this side, the picture of the big Buddha on this side. Um, and I've put the small Buddha on this side, uh, the, the, the small elephant on this side. I think it was the other way around last time. Um, this, believe it or not, I got at a junk sale for about five bucks. 
Um, I don't know why anybody would want to get rid of that. It's so beautiful. But anyway, one man's loss is my gain. There he is. And um, that basically, oops, that, <laughs> my camera <laughs> just basically bumped into the door. <laughs> um, that's the reading room, guys. That's the, that's the room. Um, it hasn't changed much, but it's definitely been updated and um, kind of re, re cleansed and, and re energized and kind of shifted around a bit. I hope you've enjoyed that. It's been requested. I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot, and I will see you on the flip side. <laughs>